Hey guys and welcome back to today's video. So today I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a day. I love these videos, I watch so many of them to get a little bit of inspiration on what to eat because I feel like it's so easy to run out of meal ideas, like I just get stuck all the time. I also get asked pretty much every single day to show you guys what I'm eating. I get so many messages like, please do a what I eat in a day, I'd love to see what food you eat. Especially because I think being gluten intolerant and lactose intolerant, people are just a little bit curious. And if you're in the same boat, I can give you some ideas. But I also wanna do a little disclaimer, just saying that this isn't what I eat every single day. It obviously changes, it can really, really vary. Some days I might eat like a whole cake and a whole tub of ice cream and all the things that I shouldn't because I'm lactose intolerant, you should eat cake and ice cream if you can. I'm not saying you should cut unhealthy foods out, but yeah, I'm not perfect all the time. Some days I eat loads of sweets, some days I eat loads of fruits. It really just depends and that's completely fine. In general, I try to follow like an 80-20 diet. So 80% of the food I eat, I try to make quite healthy and nourish my body. I do like eating, what would you call it? Like clean food. I feel like I really notice the difference in how I feel if I'm not eating loads of processed food. So I do try and do that, but I'm not saying I don't get a KFC. I'm not saying I don't get a McDonald's because I definitely do, but I just try to follow the whole like 80-20 rule. Um, but some days it's more like 70% bad stuff, 30% good, and that's completely fine. So yeah, with that disclaimer being said, <laughs> hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope it's what you've been wanting because I've had so many questions from you guys, so let's get into it. So for breakfast, I usually go with a smoothie. I feel like it's a really good way to get a lot of nutrients in. And personally, I'm not a big eater in the morning. I don't like having like a big meal, like a big English breakfast. I could not <laughs> do that. It's just too much food for me in the morning. So I want a smoothie because it's kind of filling, but also kind of light. My blender is literally amazing. I love it, it's just huge. So I am actually lactose and gluten intolerant, so you won't really see any of that in my videos. So I'm gonna put a little bit of soya milk in and a little bit of soya yogurt. Yogurt just really makes it like thick and creamy. Really like that. I put about what looks like half an avocado in. A few cherries, blueberries, And then I'll just let that mix for a minute. Okay, now I'm gonna pop some chia seeds in. Chia seeds are really good for you. Chia seeds are amazing and you can't taste them. It just is like strawberry seeds, I guess. And I'm gonna add some honey. And then because it's looking a little bit thick, I'm gonna pop a little bit more soy milk in. I also like my smoothies to be really cold, so I'm gonna pop some ice in. Now I'm just gonna pop all of that into my little Starbucks cup. I love these, they're so handy. Not just for coffee, but for smoothies as well. They're like a really good size. There we go. Yummy. Also, I've got a little tip. If you ever make a smoothie and you make way too much, which is something that I used to do all the time, then you can just pop whatever's left and pour it into an ice cube tray. And then the next time you make a smoothie, it's already ready made. You can just pop the little smoothie ice cubes into the blender and it's just like, bang, you've got a new smoothie. Um, even if you're in a rush in the morning, just make a smoothie the night before, put it in an ice cube tray and then the next morning just pop the ice cubes into the blender and it just saves you a lot of time. I really like missed out on that and I never thought about doing it before but it really does work and it tastes the exact same. It keeps it fresh as well. I feel like when you make a homemade smoothie and just stick it in the fridge, it can go a bit funny overnight. So put it in an ice cube tray, it saves everything. So there's my breakfast. I'm gonna go drink this while I get some emails done. I've got such a busy day today, so I need to get on with some work and I'll check in with you the next time I'm hungry. Hello, it is now lunchtime and I'm just about to have a little snack because I've been filming all day and I don't have time to make lunch right now. So I'm just gonna have some fruit, have a little snack to tide me over until I can grab myself some lunch because I think I'm gonna go and get myself some sushi from Sainsbury's. They have like a little stand where like they have an independent sushi company like make the sushi, which I think is really nice because it's kind of like supporting a small business. Um, and I just get like the um, avocado and cucumber little rolls. Really yummy and obviously they're gluten free naturally. So that's really good. But this room is an entire mess. There's stuff all over the floor and needs to tidy up for Lou gets back because otherwise she won't be happy um so i'm just gonna have some pineapple and watermelon there's a lot in there to be fair and a load of pineapple and i'm also gonna have some pistachios until i have time to go and grab myself an actual lunch because obviously 
so far today I've only had fruit which I guess is fine <laughs> but I feel like I need something a little bit heartier to fill me up more but this is what I'm having for right now whole pot of pineapple whole pot of watermelon and probably an entire bag of pistachios let's be honest hello I've popped to Sainsbury's to get myself some sushi and to get loose some flowers I think hello so i got myself some sushi i didn't manage to get lou um any flowers which i'm really sad about the move that that's a bit annoying isn't it um yeah i wanted to get her some sunflowers and i bought some toothpicks with me because i was gonna like buy some sticky notes and write like all my favorite things about her and like put the toothpick through the stem and like pin the uh little note onto the stem of each flower and i wanted to get some sunflowers because they're her favorite and um I didn't bloody have any. I don't know if it's a time of year or what it is, but I didn't have any, which is sad. But I got my sushi, just some um, avocado and cucumber rolls. Um, I did try some with salmon the other day and I didn't mind it, um, but I just prefer it without fish in it, I think. Mm -mm -mm. And I have these little like bottles of soy sauce as well. I've got so many like scattered around my car. But I like to just sit here and eat my lunch, <laughs> watch something on my phone while I'm eating. <laughs> Is that sad? I don't know. Might be a bit sad. So for dinner, we actually got a takeaway because I was filming this on a Friday and that's just like a little Friday treat. Um, does anybody else do that? Like get themselves a takeaway on a Friday night? I feel like it's just a really nice way to end the week. We do that or Lou makes pizza usually. Um, so we got Nando's. I really like Nando's and I feel like it's probably one of the like healthier takeaway choices because it is just like chicken and rice and mash and stuff like that. So I got myself half a chicken, um, some mash and also some coleslaw and that's what I usually get. And then after dinner I had some of this Metacalf popcorn it's like like a little grab bag thing it's a sweet and salty one and it's one of the very few snacks that I can still enjoy because it's gluten and dairy free which I love and I'm just able to eat it without being in pain like ice cream I'm like dying if I eat that so I had a little bit of popcorn which was nice so yeah that's everything I eat in a day I really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you'd like to see another one because I could definitely do another one for you because like I said my meals change so much throughout the week um so if you would like to see one let me know don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already follow me on Instagram and TikTok I'm trying to get to 100k on TikTok before the end of the month so please follow me on there and I'll see you next Sunday with a new video bye